because there was no room for them at the inn. That same night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their sheep. Picture yourself as one of these shepherds. Let's call her Leah. You feel cold as you try to sleep on this night that is bright with stars. And there's one star especially that keeps you awake. You've never seen such a star. So big and bright, so amazing. In an instant, the whole night sky has become like day. And the light speaks to you about a child who will save the world. Suddenly, an angel appeared to them, and the hill shone with the light of God. The shepherds were very frightened, but the angel said, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born, who is Christ the Lord. You will find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. The angel was joined by a vast host of others, praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to all people of goodwill. Angels have filled the sky to speak to you about a special child. You decide to go into Bethlehem and see for yourself this amazing thing that God has told you. You and your fellow shepherds are not rich or important. Like Jesus, you were born in poverty. Yet just as God was born in a stable, God's messengers came to you in a field, inviting you to be the first to know Jesus. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. And when they saw the child, they told everyone about him, and everyone who heard them was amazed. <laughs> Around this time, some wise ones from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw the rising of his star, and have come to worship him. The wise ones followed the star, which stopped over Bethlehem. Think about the Magi, the wisest people of their time. The Magi study the stars to try and understand the workings of God's creation. The wise ones have seen a star that they do not understand. This can't be just a star. It must be a sign of the birth of a great king. They're old, and yet they must follow this star. They travel by caravan over wild deserts. They meet King Herod, who tries to trick them into revealing the child's whereabouts. But they keep going, led by the impossible star, until they reach Jesus, our newborn king. When they arrived, the wise ones bowed down to worship the child Jesus. They brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh, gifts fit for a king. Christmas. Jesus is born within each of us. Let the light of this holy night shine in you all year long. And like Mary, keep this miraculous birth alive in your heart. <laughs> 